Hi, Chummer. Hello, buddy. How are you? I'm good, mate. Yeah, you right? Yeah, I'm very good. It's a fresh trim. It's a fresh haircut. Well, it's a day old. Let's just say. What did you ask for? The Jude Bellingham? No, no, no. I just, uh, as a mixed race brother with Afro Wear, I just say, can you give me a, a low you fade, You look please? like Jude Bellingham. That's because we're mixed race, so we've got Afro Wear. Um, I'm a handsome chap, and <laughs> so that's shop. <laughs> you went in there and said, I want the Bellingham. No, no, no. I'm too you old did. for that. I'm too old for asking for people's haircut. <laughs> it's just the way it goes. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's nice. You Cheers, look, mate. You look sharp. I mean, you Cheers. look sharp, but. Cheers. You know, it's. Uh, Definitely belly. I feel like I'm sat next to him. No, no, it's just yeah. how our ears kind of the same, isn't it? You know, Jamaican roots. So you curly, look, you look sharp, mate. Curly, you look, little... you look all right. I know you... <laughs> you're in a glass after, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Look, we've got to talk Man United. We watched the game, we're out there, and I mean we're almost we're going, here's a tap-in show again. Man United, 2 nil up, lose it free to Harry Maguire, fair play to the lad, gets him out of a huge hole. And uh, I just look at it and go, Eric Ten Hag, I guarantee it, does an interview after the game and he gives us a load of old spill about how they show character and mentality and, you know, it's a good point away from home and all that garbage. When really, they were absolutely shocking again. Stinking. Apart from the first 20 minutes. First 20 minutes, Rashford, good goal. Second goal goes in. You think, well... This is what United do. They play bad, they play bad, they get beat, and then they'll pull out a result from, from out of nowhere. But then two goals up to then go 2-2, two, two, that's just not Man United. That was really poor. Mm. And then they have to bring on Harry Maguire to save the day in the 90th minute. <laughs> they, they, they're just, great header. They're, they're great header. They're going to come... Ten, like I said, I'm going to call him one og because he's got one life left. He's out he's, of lives, Yeah, he? he's, he's not 10 arg anymore. It's one arg. <laughs> <laughs> one arg with one life left. And if, 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 if he we, gets beat at Aston Villa, uh, mate, I'm uh, yeah, sorry. It's, it's cheerio, International break coming up. Cheerio. Pull the trigger. It'll be cheerio. If it's a bad result, it's a cheerio. And I think they're papering over the cracks at the minute with that performance and performances that we've seen previously. Um, it's, it's just not good enough. And I said this before, he's not the guy to take you forward. This is his third season now. And we've seen the teams around. We've seen Chelsea after their like second season, how much better they are. We've seen Spurs of the second season, how much better they are. Man United with this manager of the third season. It's like they're going backwards. Yeah. They're going backwards. I just don't see a way forward for Ten Hag. I don't see a way out of this for him. I just can't see it. No. I can't see his fortunes changing. I, I, yeah, I can't see performances getting better under this regime no. with Ten Hag. No, I really don't. I really don't. I can't see it. Um, would you sack him? Would you sack him? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, tic-tac. Yeah. Chop. Boom. Bye. Here's your bag. <laughs> Thank you for your services. <laughs> but um, get back to Rotterdam or Fire or wherever he's from. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, he'll go and get another job. It's not like he's going to struggle because he's won trophies. And his argument will be, I won two trophies at Man United. In a tough spell. He's a cup man then, isn't it? That's what he is. He's a cup guy. Mm. Do you want to win some cups? Yeah, let's sign Ten Hag. Yeah. Do you want to nice. win the league? Don't bother. I, want, I, I'd write, I haven't looked at Twitter, but I'd like to know if Rashford was injured at half-time. I'm guessing he must have took him off as a precaution. Garnacho, come on. And to be fair, you know, kept going, kept trying. You know, I, I like Garnacho. I think he's a good player. But Yeah, very good. Rashford was... Done all right, but I don't know if he took. But him this off is the injured. thing: he scored a goal. He looks sharp. His confidence—that that's what he needs. Playing when his confidence is high, playing when he's scoring, because we know he goes on this run. But then he just takes him out. Mm. That's gonna hinder that confidence. Yeah. If you get subbed at half time, that puts you down. Yeah. If you're scoring and then the next game you're not starting, that's just taking you back again. Yeah, I'd like to know, but we'll find out, I'm sure. We'll what, find out. We'll, and uh, I'm, I'm sure a Man United fan can tell us. But just on Bruno Fernandes as well, getting a, a red card again. Um, he doesn't touch him. He's, he doesn't touch him. You know, he's going for the ball. In the box. In the box. He, uh, he, the, you know, the player goes down. He doesn't touch him. Mm. But his foot is high. Do you think that's a sending off? It's an hard, it's, it's it's very harsh. It's very, very harsh because at the end of the day, you've not you've not made contact. Yes, your foot might be high, but you're also in the box. You're going for the ball, but you've not made contact. But are they deeming it as dangerous play? Because you don't have to touch someone to, to, to be at foul. 
Yeah, bit I, of, I think in in Europe it's but when you're going for the goal, you, you, when you, when you're trying to get on the end of something, he knows he can't get his head there, but he knows he could reach and get a toe on it just to guide it in. But it's high. <sighs> It's very, very yeah, high. It's, it's not it's, low, it's high. It's high. It's so it's classed as dangerous. I just don't know if it's a feel, a bit, a feel for him a it's little a bit. It's a, a little bit, a little bit, but then you look in, you put yourself in that situation, but again, he's going for a potential trying to score. Mm. So I, I give him a little bit of Robert, Robert Green. Yeah. He's had a bad time, so I give him a little, little bit. Yeah. All right, let's go to some Man United fans. They're phoning us up. Let's go to Frank. Uh, all right, Frank. Evening, gents. How's it going? All right? I'm all right, Good, Frank. thank you. How do you feel about that performance? Uh, to be honest with you, mate, I'm 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 not surprised at all. Um, I sat there and watched the Champions League, uh, United in the Champions League last season. Uh, we gave away leads against Copenhagen. We gave away leads against Galatasaray, um, home and home and away. Um, this isn't an accident. This isn't co- coincidence. Um, I think Ten Hag's a dead man walking. Everyone can see it. It's, it's the most obvious thing. We have got uh, one of the toughest games in the league that we've had this season against Villa away coming up on on the weekend. Um, even if they pull out some sort of performance and result, which I don't see happening, um, I still think um, he'll be gone during the international break. Um, and to be fair, he, he'll only have himself to blame, really, because he's trying to play a high line with uh, players like Dallo and Masrawi and Vertin, but you've got Lissandra Martinez and Delict, who are good defenders, but they don't have that recovery pace. They're not an Akanji, they're not a Kanate, they're not a Saliba who can get back and, and defend. And when you're playing with Ericsson and Casemiro in front of them, who, who also don't have legs, it's a recipe for disaster. And that's how we gave away the two-goal lead initially. Yeah, the, 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 the goals you're giving away. I mean, De Ligt, is he, he's been a top player. Like, and he's come to Man United. I'm watching him going, who's this guy? This ain't De Ligt that I've seen in the past. He looks like a completely different player. They're all over the place at the back. The gaps are scary. Like, if you watch the goals, the gaps between the two centre-halves, the miles away from each other. Miles away. But this, but this, is, this, is, this has been going on for a long time now. Even if you, if you look back on the goals that we've conceded last season, the amount of times where teams have gone down the channels because of the gaps that I'm talking about and then cut it back for a player arriving late, an opposition player to score, because the, the DM, such as Casemiro, don't, don't have the legs to get back in mm. time. Yeah. So again, this, this isn't a, this isn't an accident. This isn't coincidence. It's it, look. I'm not, I, I don't think Tenard's a terrible coach. I think he's a good coach, but he's just not suited to the Premier League. He's just not suited to the to, to, to the way that we want to play and the way that he wants to play. He's just getting picked off. Um, and you saw Arne Slot when we played Liverpool come out and basically expose Man United. And if, and uh, Spurs done the same thing on the weekend as well. So it's not it's not an accident. I'm not surprised at all. So so you think that regardless of the result against Aston Villa. International week, there'll be an announcement of Ten Hag as being removed from his position. I, I'll be a lot more surprised if he's still in the job by the end of the international break, regardless yeah. of the result. And the reason why I say that is because it's not just about the result, it's about the performances in yeah. general. There's yeah. a big context to look at um, f- throughout. So that's why I think he'll be gone regardless. The Sports Bar with Jamie O'Hara and Jason Cundy. Monday to Thursday nights from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.